Hi, for this recording, I'm going to show you how to find the row reduced form of 1, 2, 3, 4, minus 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 2, and 3, 4, 5, 6, 5. Now, to do this, we have to do some row operation. First, I copy the metric now. I notice that in the first row, there's a leading one here. In order to get the row reduced form, we must get everything below leading 1, 0. So, I'm going to take the first row, times minus 2, add to the second row, then my first row remain unchanged, 1, 2, 3, 4, minus 1, but my second row becomes 0, 2 times minus 2, we get minus 4, plus 3, we get minus 1, 3 times minus 2, we get minus 6, plus 4, we get minus 2, 4 times minus 2, we get minus 8, plus 5, we get minus 3, 2, 2 plus 2, we get 4. Now, I want to make the 3 disappear. I want to make the 3 to 0. So, so I'm going to take the first row, times minus 3, add to the third row. Then I'll get 0. And then, 2 times minus 3 is minus 6, plus 4, get minus 2. 3 times minus 3 is minus 9, minus 9 plus 5, get minus 4. 4 times minus 3, minus 12, minus 12, plus 6, get minus 6. And then, minus 1 times minus 3, get 3, 3 plus 5, get 8. So I have a leading one in the first row. Now, in the second row, I have a minus 1 there. I need to change the minus 1 to a leading one. So, what I'm going to do now is multiply the second row by minus 1. So I take the second row, multiply by minus 1, and then the first row remains unchanged. 1, 2, 3, 4, minus 1. The second row becomes 0, 1, 2, 3, minus 4. The third row remains unchanged. So I have the leading one in the first row and leading one in the second row. So once I achieve a leading one in the second row, uh, I want to make the entries below leading one and above leading one zero. So I can take the second row times two, add to the third row, then I'll get second row limit unchanged. Zero one two three minus four. And the third row will become all zero. And then I want to take the second row, times minus two, add to the first row, and I'll get one zero. Two times minus two get minus four. Minus four plus three get minus one. Three times minus two get minus six. Minus six plus four get minus two. Minus 4 times minus 2 get 8. 8 minus 1, I got 7. And now, okay, this is the row reduced epsilon form. Now, I'm going to show you how to use the cash row 9860 to do this operation. So, let me go back to the PowerPoint. I want to call up my cash flow calculator. So to do this, now I'm in the menu. So E, go to matrices. Now enter the metric EXE here. This time the matrix has three rows and five columns. Press the EXE again. So now I enter the entry. First row is one. 2, 3, 4, minus 1, and the second row is 2, 3, 4, 5, 2, and the third row is 3, 4, 5, 6, 5. After I finish, enter the metric, I'm going to do some row operation, so I press F1 for row operation. But before that, I move to the left, go back to the first column. So now I do the row operation. 
F1 for row operation, I'm going to take the first row times minus 2, add to the second row. So I'm going to take F3, so minus 2 multiply the first row, add to the second row. Yes, again. So I eliminate the 2 and get a 0. Now I do the row operation again. I'm going to take F3 again. So I multiply a minus 3 to the first row and add to the third row. Yes, e. So I have a leading one in the first row and below it all the law. Now I want to move on to create a leading one in the second row. At the moment is minus 1. At this moment is minus 1. So I multiply the second row with minus 1. So press F2 here, multiply a row. Minus 1, multiply to second row. Yes, E again. So I have a leading one in the second row. Now I make sure that the entry is below a leading one and above leading one are zero. So, now, so I'm going to press F3 to create zero. So now, second row times 2 add to the third row. So I take 2 times second row add to the third row. Exe, execute. And then I want to take minus 2 times the second row add to the first row. So I take F3 there, minus 2 times the second row add to the first row. Exe, and so this is the row reduced form. This is exactly the answer we obtained earlier. That's the end of the recording.